What's up everybody, welcome to a new video and today we will take a quick look on AVEX. So if you are interested about my thoughts on this coin and for example some possible entries to trading positions, definitely watch this video till the end. But before that I would like to ask you if you like my videos and you like my analysis, I will be really happy if you hit that like and subscribe button and also if you type some comment under a video because it will simply help the algorithm to reach out my channel to a new people so yeah thank you guys for doing that and enjoy today's analysis but before that i would like to invite you to my discord trading group where i am sharing everyday crypto analysis on bitcoin and other altcoins that i'm currently watching so if you want to copy my exact trades or if you want to just follow my analysis you can join to this group and link to join is in the description or in the comments also, I want to say that there is currently a 20% discount on my Discord training group membership where I am sharing all of my trades with my exact entries, uh, stop loss, take profit targets, etc. So if you are interested uh, about more information, you can find it in my Discord public uh, group and link to join is in the description or in the comments. Let's start today on the one hour chart you can see that uh, we were forming here this falling wedge and uh, also we had here this perfect breakout and support confirmation so in my discord trading group we already create a long position there so right now yeah this position is like in a nice profit of course we already took some profits so right now i think that there is pretty high probability that uh, we are gonna go test the liquidity to this week high which is on the level approximately 49.96 and uh, then here the market will decide what will be the next move so on the one hour chart i don't think that on the current level there is currently a good idea to take a long position even i think that the price will continue up because the risk reward ratio is not that good anymore because if you for example want to open here a long position um, let's say yeah right here and you're last take profit target will be under this previous week high and you will for example place the stop loss under uh, under this previous lows then the risk reward ratio is only like 2.29 and if you will take like here multiple take profit targets the risk reward ratio will be, will be even less so yeah i don't think that this is like a good opportunity on the other hand, if we will switch to a 4-hour chart, you can see that this coin is in the heavy uptrend. So right now, this can be, for example, another cycle. So it can happen, for example, what we saw over there. So if you, for example, want to open here a long-term, a long position, this actually can be a good opportunity, but you need to aim here for a bigger profit we can see this uh, this trading setup even better on the 12 hour chart you can see that historically above this uh, previous highs we like have here almost zero liquidity so uh, yeah for the price it shouldn't be that big of a deal to do let's say higher move in this area and if we take a look on the 12 hour chart you can see that the next important resistance is here between levels 103 and 95 so from this current level this can be a pump around like 124 percent of the net profit and since we already confirm a support uh, above this uh, above this current uh, support area which is between levels 38.1 and 35.2 approximately and yeah you can see that uh, this was like a previous resistance from these two previous highs i think that there is currently a higher probability that the price will continue up in like a long run so right now you are having here two possible entries the first one will be to wait again for a uh, uh, support confirmation because this possible setup will give you absolutely like best risk reward ratio but as you can see we already like uh, had uh, a support confirmation here so there is like simply no guarantee that the price will go back eventually but uh, this possible long setup can look for example like this so stop loss you can put just under this uh, just under a support area because if there will be breakdown and resistance confirmation we are probably like going down so you don't want to hold your losing position longer than it's necessary and the last take profit target well you can put it on either under this bearish order block 
that is let's say safer for last TP or you can put it above uh, just above this bearish order block because if there will be a testing of this bearish order block there is actually like a high probability that we are gonna go swipe the liquidity above and then the price can reverse so in this case you are having here risk reward ratio like 17.94 which is like absolutely crazy but don't forget to take multiple take profit targets so some of the profits definitely take uh, somewhere under this previous week high so under level 4 59.96 then some of the profits under this previous low so under the level like 64.5 then the, here we have another resistance so let's say somewhere under 77 then some of the profits under this bearish order block and then save some back let's say i don't know about 15 percent to the last take profit target so in the end the risk reward ratio will be let's say around 11 yeah something like that which is in my opinion still really really good and the second possible long entry will be to open a long position right now but honestly i am not recommending this because the stop loss needs remain the same so in this case you are having a risk reward ratio only 8.29 and if you will take multiple take profit targets then the risk reward ratio will be let's say around five which is in my opinion really not good if you are aiming for like 146 percent of the net profit uh, risk reward ratio 5 is good if you are taking for example trades on the let's say 1 or a, like a 4 hour chart but not if you are taking a long position for a couple of months but yeah if you let's say want to open here more risky trading position still you can use this current uh, this current level as your entry point but as i said i am not recommending it because the risk reward ratio is simply not that great and also you are having like 17 percent stop loss so if you will for example use leverage there is a um, high high probability that you will get liquidated of course if you use like isolated margin and let's now take a look on the weekly time frame. AVEX is definitely one of the better coins to have uh, to the upcoming bull market because from let's say this low to this high we already had here like a pump around like 482 percent of the of the net move so yeah I think that in the upcoming bull market AVEX uh, will definitely perform well but right now to open let's say a long-term long position well I said it on the 12 hour chart so you already know my view of this coin Coin. but anyway if you want to copy my exact trades or if you want to follow my analysis you can join my discord trading group where i am sharing the analysis every single day and link to join is in the description or in the comments uh, but yeah this will be all from me for today and i will see you in the next video see ya